Hey guys, good morning. It's Tony. So before I start the video, uh, I would like to say, uh, you know, please subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you to everybody who always gives me likes. It definitely helps push my videos out um, to people that like them just as much as you guys. Um, and then also a shout out to my to my sponsor, myself. <laughs> a big shout out to the Patreon at www.patreon.com slash but I'm not a trader. The website is currently being developed. It is about maybe 50, 60% finished. Um, I'm trying to get all the nitty gritty out of it. And then after that, after everything is actually finished, um, I'll go ahead and be migrating everything out from the Patreon uh, on to my website. And if you guys would like to join early, go ahead and join the Patreon. Right now it's about 10 bucks a month. I'm gonna go ahead and remove everything that I have on the Patreon and I'm gonna actually change it in my website. And it's everything's going up to a one-time uh, one -time payment of 750 bucks. Um, so again, as always, it's more of an opportunity cost for everybody right now, uh, right now that the migration is going on. So if you guys want to join the Patreon, that's fantastic. It's only $10 a month because eventually um, I, I am hoping or I have a target of the end of this month to have everything set up. Um, but at, at the end of the month, when everything gets migrated over and deleted from Patreon, Patreon will just kind of be more of a support page where I'll still post and have like some more stuff on there. But um, eventually... All the stuff that I offer is going to be a one-time payment of 750 bucks up to like a thousand bucks. I haven't decided yet, um, but it's definitely going up. <laughs> so if you guys want to join, opportunity cost, that's more for you guys. If not, that's completely cool. Uh, and now we can get on to the video. Um, I did get a request for Google and another one for Amazon. So I'll just be doing uh, both of those into one video for one, uh, you know, into just this one. Um, as of right now for Google, I went ahead and set all the support and resistance on the weekly just so that we have a good idea of what uh, levels to look at for Google. And then also just a quick little trend here that's been going on since October, right? So you have been trending to the upside on Google for a while now. And then I think the news that it just recently had with the whole AI stuff this past week actually pushed it over to the edge and it squeezed to 117. And I actually think it's going up a little bit higher. My range is between 119 to like 122. Keep in mind, 122 is actually um, pretty good resistance around the weekly and it's major resistance around the monthly. So I 100% think it'll reject from this 122 level if it gets there. So as of right now, I do think that it's gonna be from here possibly to like one like 19 122 around this level and then 100 percent reject back to that order block on the weekly of 108 so i do think that if you are looking to add long-term shares obviously you don't care about the price so you can start adding now personally me i would only long at 108 i do think it's going to hit this resistance between 119 122 dive all the way back down to 108 that's going to be my cue to start adding if not it's probably going to come back all the way down uh, to 96 bucks back to this trend eventually, right? It doesn't have to come back here. It might come back like here somewhere, right? But I think eventually it's gonna come back to like the $195, $96 level. And another really good way to, to get us a target is to use the trending FIB, which is from these lows on the trend to the high, back to that low again. And as you can see, right? You have a lot, you have most of the resistance is up here at 123 ish. So I definitely think it's gonna, it has a very good likelihood of just going all the way up to 122, 123. Uh, from there, completely shooting back down to the, to the low side. So as of right now, that's the, basically the TA that I have right now. I do think it's gonna keep pushing up to 122 ish and then reject to possibly 108. And if that one order block gets eaten up, I think it's coming back all the way down to possibly between 96 and 100 bucks, but that's we won't talk about that until it gets there. But as of right now, I am pretty bullish on Google to 122, 123, and I think you're gonna hard reject off of there. So, you know, if you want a long, uh, that's cool. Like, I don't like longing at these highs, I, I don't, it's not my thing. But if anybody wants a long at those highs, then go right ahead, you know, right? It's like, it's your money, bro. That's no, not mine. <laughs> and then for, for Amazon currently, right? You have all big tech really has been on a steady uptrend since like October, right? Amazon took a little bit longer and it's been on a steady uptrend since January. But let's let's run this right. You have a nice solid uptrend right here. So that's your major, major trend, right? There's always minor trends which are on like anything under than like the daily. And then you have this uptrend right here from here, right? Up to about like right there. There you go. So Amazon actually completely, you know, it came back, it came actually came under trend, right? So Amazon actually came under trend 
and then recovered above trend and it popped. And I do think that from here, I do think that 113 was actually its top and it's gonna actually come down all the way back to possibly like under a hundred bucks. That's what I'm thinking because I think it already hit that major resistance that it was going to. I do not think it's gonna keep pushing up. I think it's gonna come down, break. So here's what I think is gonna happen, right? I think from here, it's gonna end up coming down here break let me get rid of this because this is too too thick right it's going to do that break probably come back up to this trend and then dive all the way back down uh to the major trend actually two pixels was fine it's a lot easier to see there you go so i do think that's what's going to happen i think amazon's going to come back down here break this trend come back under trend where it's supposed to be because that's where it was from may 1st up until may 9th right so i do think it's going to come back down fill this gap retrace back up possibly to this 110 level and then drop massively uh back onto trend which i think is which i think is what's going to happen to be honest um you do have probably a smaller major trend let me see where do you have a major trend yeah so you do have a smaller major minor trend here from this low stoke to this one and it's a four hour so you do have again a lot of a lot of upward movement on Amazon, a lot of small minor trends. So there. Very strong chance. See? You might actually come lower, right? So here, we can we, you could actually just do this. You could actually come all the way back down to this trend, right? Let's say like like this, like that, something like that. Right? Because you have a minor trend there. Come back up here, right? And then drop all the way down to this to this major trend right because you do have a minor trend here on the four hours so i would not be surprised to come all the way down back to 103 rebound to like 1010 to retest and then drop all the way down to like 96 bucks but i do think eventually you're going to come back here because if this big trend right if this major trend breaks or this minor trend breaks um you're actually you're gonna this, this is essentially a really good sign to short the crap out of it right you've been on this uptrend ever since March 13, so about, you know, more than a month now, right? So I would definitely guess that Amazon's going to come right back down here, retest, probably go up and then dive all the way back down to like under a hundred bucks again. Maybe this happens like in a month or so. I don't know. But as of right now, it does look like you're going to dive to the low side. You're going to break back under trend, fill that gap, keep going lower, probably come up and retest and then dive all the way down to 96. And again, you don't have to retest, right? You don't have to retest this area. You could always just go from here all the way down to like trend right that could always happen does it happen a, a lot not not very likely right it really just depends on you know what is um on on how much momentum is to the downside but for the most part amazon you reject that off this 113 level which i'm not surprised um again i think you're going to come back down to fill that gap keep going lower <clears throat> go up to retest that trend and then eventually end up here at 96 bucks so I wouldn't waste my time too much on trading this. Me personally, I'd probably buy like two, three month outputs at like 110 and then just let this dump all the way down to 96 bucks. But again, you know, that's just me. So anything, anyways, that was Amazon. That was Google. Some quick info if you guys have lasted this whole video. Uh, the SPY actually closed the Bear Weekly, right? That was the big signal that me and my Patreon members were waiting for to, to short. Well, not to short big, because we've all already been, we've been short like crazy already. So, you know, this, this, this past week, shout out to, shout out to, um, shout out to Steve, to Steve, by the way, who just had his $114,000 week, which is ridiculous. So shout out to him from the Patreon, had 114K week, which is super dope. Um, we, me and him were actually duking it out. Uh, we actually battled, battling it out yesterday, the whole day, trying to see who can make the most money. And <clears throat> I think, I don't know if he beat me. I don't think he beat me because, but I actually got stopped on some NOS shorts that I had some, some NASDAQ 100s. Um, so, uh, I, I couldn't trade anymore cause I got stopped out and then I was like, I don't want to go back in. So I don't know if he, had, I don't know if he, I don't know if he beat me. I don't know if he beat me on the day but on the week he had 114k week which is pretty ridiculous so big shout out to him um just goes to show you guys you know how strong you know how cool the strategies are and stuff right like you know 114 weeks 114k week is ridiculous um so again same thing as always right same thing like i told you guys last time same thing that i told you guys before i'm just waiting to short i mean i'm not waiting to short this right i think i have like a 50k put position on spy puts right now um again 
run it from the high. The highest, the, the longest day out is, I think, 28 days. 28 days between 31 and $36 drop, right? So $31 would bring us back to exactly that trend, right? Which is ridiculous, right? No coincidence in the market, like I always tell you guys. And then again, that same drop on a 36, on a 36, 36 one, right? 36 one right there. So if we do end up dropping 36 bucks, that's essentially a drop down to like 380, which means we break trend, which means we come back and retest at 386, which means we'll probably end up somewhere between 370 and 357 with it after maybe like another month after like June 11th or whatever. But so far early June-ish, whoops, not, not that. There you go. So far early June, um, I am expecting a anywhere between 385 to like a 378 ish. So that's target as of right now, for the beginning for like the first week of June. So quick sauce for you guys. And after and also I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Um, www.patreon.com slash but I'm not a trader if you want to join before all the prices go up. But you know, have a great day, guys. Have a great weekend. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.